and good morning. I'm Nikki Boyer. Welcome to Morning Canvas. Here's your daily dose. The cable network TNT recently came up with an artful way to promote its new drama, The Last Ship. The show is about a crew on a Navy destroyer that tries to save the planet after disaster strikes. What TNT did was construct a pop-up gallery in New York City. On display was an exhibit called Survival is an Art, The Last Ship Experience. It featured gas masks, which were worn with designer clothes, perfect for a post-apocalyptic world. Over the years, Jeff Koons has entertained as well as created controversy with his art. In the process, he's become one of today's most popular artists. The Whitney Museum recently opened an exhibit that shows off his creations. Believe it or not, it's his very first major museum presentation to take place in New York. Jeff Koons, a retrospective, continues through October 19th. The exhibit then travels to museums in France and Spain. There's a viral video that has over 13 million hits and is still making around seven years after it was posted. In just three minutes, it shows 500 years of women in Western art. Now, there are about 90 portraits featured in the video that was created by a guy from St. Louis. And if you don't recognize some of these masterpieces, there's even a cheat sheet that gives you all the answers. Don't you just love the internet? A huge sculpture of Marilyn Monroe was recently found abandoned in a dump in China after standing in front of a business center for six months. And there's the picture to prove it. Poor girl. Nobody knows why it was thrown out or why it looks so similar to a Marilyn Monroe creation that's currently on display at a sculpture park in New Jersey. Both works of art feature the actress from her iconic windblown skirt scene in The Seven Year Itch. Kicking off today in New Orleans is the annual Essence Festival. This year marks the music and cultural event's 20th anniversary. Since this is such a huge milestone, there's going to be a powerhouse lineup that includes Nas, The Roots, Mary J. Blige, and the July 4th headliner is Prince, who hasn't appeared at the festival in 10 years. Plus, there is a series of seminars that people like Alicia Keys and Robin Roberts will lead. Thank you for watching and make sure to tune into the full morning canvas every weekday from 7 till 9 a.m. And I'll see you tomorrow.